Someone asked what I think of the Novaflex Ball Pro TS. My answer is a lot. I purchased it in 2014 and still rely on it, which is more than I can say of every other medium format technical camera I have owned or used. That includes legends such as Leenhoff's M679CS, the Rolleye XX2, Campbell's Actus GFX, the Fujifilm GX680, as well as specialty cameras such as Zinar's Artec. What I most appreciate about the Ball Pro TS is the following. It is light and compact and compatible with x 2 accessories. Its sturdy optical bench eclipses everything out there. It has a tough integrated Arca Swiss bottom plate, its focus gears are precise, and its shifting gears are repeatable. Finally, its front and its rear standards both move. But right after purchasing the Ball Pro 2 TS, Rolleye's x 2 caught my eye. It could do everything the Ball Pro TS could, and then some, and as a result became my main studio camera for magazine work. Where the Ball Pro TS's standards are limited to shift or rise and tilt or swing, the Exact 2's independently rise, fall, tilt and swing, focus and shift. It collapses totally flat to allow infinity focus with wide angle lenses on zero flange medium format backs and works with the richest number of accessories out there. On paper, it is perfect, but its focus gears play in their tracks and its jutting chin bumps objects in front of it, making macro focus stacks a gamble. And as my work took me deeper into one over two and one over one macro territory, I needed something better tailored for close-ups. Hello again, Ball Pro TS. The Ball Pro TS loses some in functionality against the Exact 2, but its trade offs are worth it. Because it is compatible with a large variety of Exact 2 accessories, you can mount Copal lenses, SLR lenses, extension tubes, lens shades, focus aids, and a lot more. I have paired it with everything from sliding focus screens to blinders, lens adapters, and so on. Most work perfectly with the Ball Pro TS. To Rolleye's accessories, Novaflex added a number of their own, including automated focus stackers, auto bellows, and much, much more. But all of that would be for naught if the optical bench wasn't as solid as it is. Under high magnification, it is steadier even than the Leenhoff M679CS's is at the same extension. If planted on a sturdy enough camera stand or tripod, and screwed into quality adapters, it is capable of returning tack sharp stacks of 200 images, and that even without using a shutter release, and that at 3 to 4 magnification. Even when turned on its side, it remains sturdy enough from 1 over 1 macro stacks. This trumps most of its more expensive competition. And even heavy lenses remain totally stable thanks to its torque based screw mount. Despite focusing on a shorter optical bench, its chinless design allows macro lenses to get closer to subjects without obstruction than when mounted to cameras such as the x 2 As a result, the Ball Pro TS macro combo can achieve 1 over 1 magnification with lenses up to 125mm. With dedicated ultra macro lenses and microscope objectives, it stably nails magnification beyond 4 over 1. The Ball Pro TS was one of the first technical cameras to integrate Arca Swiss mounting along its entire foot. To this day, few comparable cameras exist. This means you can mount the camera anywhere along its bench to accommodate truly diverse photographical situations without also compromising stability. While Campbell's Actis GFX also includes an integrated Arca Swiss foot, its focus gears and shoe are less stable and precise. Its bench is carved from thinner billets and the entire camera is more susceptible to Z-axis flex. There is no comparison in stability between the two for macro work. The Ball Pro TS slaughters the Actis. The Ball Pro TS may lack the M679CS's macro focus scales, 
but its equally precise focus gearing and solid metal focus knobs make it better for deep focus stacks. I've not encountered a single technical camera at any price whose focus engine is as fine. The only fly in the ointment is that its fixed bench doesn't extend as far. However, a surfeit of quality screw-in adapters, extension tubes, as well as its bulletproof mounting system can just about make up for lack in other areas. Both standards are shifted on toothed gears by up to 11mm to the left or to the right. That gearing isn't as weighty as the Linhoff M69 CS's, it also cannot be locked into place like the shift gearing of some other cameras. In practice, however, it brooks no drift in either direction. Because the Ball Pro TS must be remounted on its side to allow front or rear rise and fall, this point cannot be understated. Both of the Ball Pro TS's standards move, though only the rear standard focuses. Many competing technical cameras in its price range limit movement to one or the other standard. Some cameras even opt for front-only focus. While one can make do with front focus, rear focusing keeps the lens from moving in and out or toward and away from the subject. This makes marking and tracking focusing positions in a stack much easier. It also lowers torque-induced vibration. Within its limits, the Ball Pro TS is the best designed technical camera out there, but those limits are pretty severe. In order to access the tilt and rise fall functions on what is supposed to be a tilt shift camera, you must remount it on its side. This means you can forget simultaneous tilt, swing, shift, rise, fall movements that are native to cameras like the Linhoff M679CS, the Rollei XAC2, and others. Remounting means re-leveling, reframing, reorienting, re-zeroing, and so on. What can be done by twisting a single knob on the Linhoff or XAC2 takes minutes on the Ball Pro TS. All of this belies the TS in the Ball Pro TS's name. While its bellows collapse, allowing the widest angle lenses to achieve infinity focus on digital backs, they cannot be hot swapped. And the aging bellows in my Ball Pro TS are beginning to crack and peel. This can result in debris hitting the sensor, especially as internally the bellows both suck in air and push it back out again. The Ball Pro TS's white on grey markings lack contrast and are only visible on one plane at a maximum of an arm's length away. Minimal effort on Novaflex's part would be required to fix this and make the camera far more usable for macro and other basic studio photography. Numbers 2 and 3 could be addressed in Kaizen fashion and on the sly. Number 1 would require a few big rethinks in both design and price. If a Ball Pro TS2 ever came out with an inline tilt and shift and rise and fall, in addition to swing and focus controls, it should retain the chinless design. Alpa's Vaporware Serpent camera proved that a powerful, compact camera can be designed using the XAC2 platform. Novaflex have the manufacturing prowess, the logistical reach, and the brand power to make something like it work. The only camera that earned more money for my studio than the Ball Pro TS is the Fujifilm GX680. But as useful as that camera can be, the GX680's lenses simply don't compete with the likes of Gineron and Schneider. And its front focus and front movement system makes stacking, as well as focusing and framing, a little more complicated. No technical camera is perfect. Even the M679CS misses things here and there, but the Ball Pro TS, whose utility is constrained as much by size as it is by price, is a better camera for simple, technical use. Admittedly, I use technical camera functions less than I used to. I also layer photos more in Photoshop than before, and therefore find less use for certain functions. Ultimately, however, the Ball Pro TS's rock-solid bench and hermetic focus system retain absolute apogee status in my experience. Improvements to the Ball Pro TS could be as simple as allowing bellows to be hot swapped and adding high contrast markings to highly visible areas. But if Novaflex want to kill the competition at just about any price, 
all it would have to do would be to install new yokes capable of simultaneous tilt, swing, shift, and rise. And that is what I think about the Ball Pro TS. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. I'm waiting.